Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another Cricut um, print and cut um, project share. So it's not really a project, sorry. It's just the, um, I've been playing around with my Cricut and I'm trying to, I'm getting used to it now. Um, I actually had to bust out my silhouette recently um, to cut some old files that I use for my baseball caps. And I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's really loud. I think it's because I have an old one. It's really loud and it, take, it took me like almost an hour to cut 12, <laughs> sorry, my dog, um, 12 baseball cap, you know, the, the, the cap part, the part that goes over your face. And I was like, oh my God, why is it taking so long? So um, after that, like I appreciate my Cricut more. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can find a baseball cap die. I mean, not die cut file for that I can use on my Cricut instead or I got to figure out how to convert the one I bought on Silhouette to that I don't think you can do that but anyway so in the meantime I've been playing around with um the print and cut function so I think all of these I bought from that oval overly I don't know how to say it um I will link them down below but this ice creams were a set so you get all of them when you buy that cut file and this one was actually free um i don't know why but i went on their site to go buy the graduation hello kitty and this one was free this one i had to pay and then this one i had already bought i bought one more too i can't remember which one i bought but i didn't cut that one yet okay so this is this is the goodie stuff that i got so this is a hello kitty that is, um, she's kind of like peeking over her diploma, which I thought was super cute. So I need to make a graduation card for my niece. So I probably will use these um, along with like a shaker. And then here's the one where it's like her full body. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. And I love the fact that you can make them as big as you want. Like that's the best part about doing it on the Cricut. Um, so maybe I will stop buying dyes. Who knows? Okay, and then this is um, a strawberry Hello Kitty. I did this because I have a, um upcoming swap using strawberry milkshake and then Sunreal. Um, and it came with all these little flowers that it also die cuts. Okay, so let's look at the um, the ice cream now. So I did, for I mean, I think I did it wrong. I cut, um, I cut this one first, which is larger. And then I cut this one because I'm trying to match the size of this Pachaco. And he's still smaller but at least it's a little bit more closer in size. So that's why I have so much of the My Melody. Same with the Hello Kitty. I think the Hello Kitty, I might've cut it three times by accident. Um, so I, I tried, this was the first one and then I cut it a little bit smaller. So I wanna try to make them about the same size so I can kind of line them up. Anyway, so I have extra Hello Kitty and then I got, I cut the Pachaco, I actually cut them first. So my tip for you is put them all in the same um mat when you're designing and then i don't know like i don't know do it that way i think it'll be easier if you're trying to make them the same size and then the last one i have is the kuromi so cute the kuromi i think is actually smaller but it's it's not bad like it kind of it doesn't look too far off so i will probably use them all on an upcoming project anyway that is all i have for you for this Okay, so I really like it because I can just sit at the TV and um, I can watch TV while I just feed it into my printer and then feed it into the Cricut and it's super fast and it's quiet. So like Cricut is like I'm sold now. Like I I wasn't using it, so I really didn't have an opinion. Um, but now that I've been using it a lot, like I like it way more than Silhouette. So those of you who use the Silhouette, please tell me if the newer versions, because um, I have a really old one. If the newer versions are loud or if they're not as loud as the one I have, um, which is like first or second generation. Um, so anyway, yeah, let me know because I would still like to be able to use my old silhouette files. Um, but I'm thinking, do I need to buy a, an upgraded silhouette? Because mine is a little bus up and it's kind of like pretty soon. I don't think the software is going to be able to update. Anyway, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.